We are on the Hammers Gym YouTube channel with Marat Gregorian. Marat, nice to have you in the interview here today. Um, first of all, you are a member of the Hammers Gym. Um, so we are excited to talk to you today. Can you tell us your story, how you started to train with the Hammers Gym and when did you start it? Hello to everyone. Uh, I started in 2014. Some of my uh, good friends, he's a trainer, Wim Verlinde. He's a, he's a Belgium trainer. He told me uh, you must to come and to train, to try to train uh, in hammer gym. It's going to be very good for you. I think uh, the, the, the fighting style that you train is the same, and you, gonna, you can uh, learn a lot of things there. So I try it. I come uh, one time to train in Hammer Gym, and uh, it was very nice. I was feeling good in that time, and uh, after that, I, I start to come to Hammer Gym. All right. What do you think is the biggest difference between training in Hammer's Gym and training in another gym? For me, I don't train too much to other gyms uh, because I don't like that to train uh, to many places uh, but uh, this gym uh, I like the fighting style uh, here is more uh, details if you train something you have a game plan uh, you must to try to punch every punch like uh, how it must to be and uh, I learned a lot of things and like every day I I still learning I try to learn every day. All right. The Hammer Stecker's legacy is one of the most famous in the kickboxing world. Was this an inspiration for you to train here? Yes, of course. Uh, of course, Ramon Deckers is one of the famous fighters of the world of kickboxing and Muay Thai. I see many fights of, 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 them, of him. And uh, I was very excited to come and train and to learn things, techniques of him. So uh, I feel great to be part of Emory Gym. Give me three words how you feel about to be part of the Hammers family. Family, loyalty, pride. I can, I can say many things, love, <laughs> many things. There are many feelings for the Emory Gym. OK. Nick Hammers is your trainer. And as part of your kickboxing success, you won three belts during your period with Hammers Gym. Which belt for you is the most important one and why? Uh, you know, for me, all the belts are very important for me, for my career, because uh, it was a dream to be a, to be a champion of K1. And that was the first belt that I uh, get with, with my trainer, Nick Hammers. It was really a dream that I, that I get the belt. The next one was uh, it was really a big tournament, and there are many good fighters in the tournament. It was K1 tournament. Uh, I won that tournament too, and uh, the third one was Glory. Uh, I lost uh, some uh, split uh, decisions uh, by uh, with uh, City Chai, and uh, of course I was to to beat him and to take his belt from him. It was uh, it was a great feeling. All the be all the belts have uh, his history. For me, it's all the things very important. All the belts. You are still title holder by Glory, but you decided um, to go away to One FC. What are the reasons for this? Can you tell us something about your decision? Uh, Glory is a good uh, organization. Uh, I beat the uh, two strongest opponent on glory it was Tijani Bustati and Elvis Gashi and uh, after that I, I don't feel good that I that I that, I, that, that there can keep me motivated you know it's not always about money I can uh, keep safe and uh, I can keep fighting in glory but I don't I, I don't like that I'm not that kind of fighters I want to show the world good fights good of uh, things of kickboxing so and uh, by uh, own championship, there are many fighters that I want to fight them. So that's the thing that keeps me more motivated to fight. 
Which fighter you would love to fight in one FC? Uh, all of them. I want to fight all of them. All of them. Okay. Um, what is your expectation to fight in such a big organization uh, like one FC? Uh, I'm very famous in Asia. You know, uh, it feels great to be fighting there again because uh, in my last years. I fight many times in China. I have a lot of fans there, I'm, and I'm happy to be fighting there again. You are used to fight around five rounds normally uh, during the last years. Now you will fight around three rounds. How do you adapt your training to this change? Uh, uh, like a, like a, uh, the same way, but now I must to start more earlier uh, because. Uh, When I was fighting Glory, it was five rounds, so I, I was uh, keep uh, taking it easy. I want to keep in pain and keep uh, keep it going, you know. And now I must to start a little bit early. Uh, it's nothing uh, for me. It's nothing. Uh, I'm ready for that. It's not like I never did that. <laughs> All right. Um, will you go for a knockout this time? Like always, I go always for knockout, but knockout you can you never know when it comes. Uh, but I'm always that kind of fighter who is looking for knockout, or is for always looking for spectacle things. So we will see what's gonna happen. It's a fight; everything can happen. Uh, you must be always alert. You must be always focused. It's a it's a fight. Everything can happen. Most of the time, one FC find place in Asia. The most famous fighter from Hammer's Gym, Ramon Dekas, was known for his spectacular fighting style in Asia. How do this inspire you? Uh, inspired me a lot of things. Uh, that's a good thing that I, I must to push me more, to do it more, more, and to to show them that we are uh, different from all the older fighters. Uh, we have a uh, Great three story on us back, uh, like Roman Deckers. And uh, I try my best to do it like him. When is your next fight scheduled, Marat? Uh, very soon. I can't say the day, but very soon. Okay, so we are excited to know the date soon as well. What do you want to say to your fans from Kunlun, from K1 and Glory, and the new ones from 1FC? I love them all. They all, all, all my fans around the world. They keep me sending me things that uh, when is when is your next fight? They are very excited when I'm gonna fight again. Uh, most of all, they are in Chinese, in Japanese. Uh, they can't wait that I can go and fight there again. I love you all. Uh, thank you for always supporting me. Thank you for the believing in me. Uh, I try always my best to beat everybody and to show great fights. Thank you. Thank you, Marat, and see you soon.